I'm John Burris. It's Jim Shannon. Uh, we have been uh, the plaintiff counsel uh, on the city of Oakland's case since 2003, the, the uh, negotiated settlement agreement. Uh, and part of that is the city had a number of tasks, approximately 55 tasks that were to be completed in a short, relatively short period of time. Unfortunately, uh, they have not been very successful in getting the task completed. We've had to go through at least two independent monitors uh, to, move, uh, to move it along. Uh, but finally, uh, we were in a position, we thought, a couple years ago, that real progress had been made and that there was a real possibility uh, that uh, we would be in a position to set a, an end date, if you will, uh, for the negotiated settlement agreement, commonly referred to as the NSA. And then this case happens uh, with the sex uh, workers, but more importantly, all the police officers who were engaged in it, what I consider to be immoral and illegal conduct at best. And that conduct. Okay. Officers uh, derailed, uh, if you will. Uh, the progress of the NSA. It was devastating for us to find out uh, when we did that uh, there was this sex activity taking place, frankly un immoral, un conduct on becoming a police officer, and, and very, very disturbing uh, to us. And, and so, although I wasn't involved because I ultimately came involved in, with the client uh, in, in doing the case, uh, I did become aware uh, in the course of the litigation of some of the outrageous conduct that was then taken toward her. Uh, we did allow Jasmine, as you know, to meet with uh, uh, Mr. Swanson as part of his investigation for purposes, purposes of finding out how she was treated uh, by the uh, OPD investigators. And that report clearly indicates, uh, and what she had communicated to me, that she was treated very shabbily. Uh, she was not given any real direct intention, in fact, made her, made her feel like uh, she was the criminal as opposed to the victim. And so the report itself, from our point of view, <coughs> is easily described as a major, major setback uh, for the department. It's devastating the ramifications as it demonstrates that not only the internal affairs section of the department, but the sexual assault portion of it, the CID portion, none of them work in the manner which they were supposed to work, and that is in a very independent and professional manner uh, to, to find out what had happened, when it happened, who did what to whom. And what this report demonstrates very clearly that the investigation that we were thought to occur did not occur, that in fact the investigation from what the report suggests was never designed to get at the truth of what happened. It was never designed uh, to um, find out what all, who, all the names of the officers who were involved and to incur and, and impose some form of discipline on them. Certainly not at the very beginning. And I think that the monitor's uh, report, as, report as well as Mr. Swanson's report give clear indications of that. From our point of view and certainly from my perspective, this is a very hurtful uh, report because it undermines um, a lot of the work that had been done down through the years. Uh, it certainly uh, indicates that the efforts that we were making to ensure that the internal affairs protect those who come in for interviews, who have been, who believe that they have been mistreated uh, by other officers, that they would be treated uh, fairly and objectively. And we spent a lot of time going over the particular standards. The problem with this is we never expected that the back door of the police department would have officers going out that back door, engaging in criminal and illegal conduct, and being able to come back in the department without any real uh, close scrutiny. So that part was very devastating to us to see that written in the report. Now, from my point of view, it, to me, this um, is, and we often said, it's, it's the end, but it's also the beginning. The end of the report, but it is the beginning because I also believe it presents an opportunity uh, to us to get back on track uh, with the uh, compliance of the, inter of the N NSA, but also gives the department an opportunity to institute new controls, to put forth more um, 
um, systems in place and, and more checks and balances to ensure that this type of conduct and other similar misconduct by officers uh, does not occur and does not go uh, uh, freely and that those officers who have the responsibilities have checks and balances on them as well because here was a breakdown uh, in the chain of command in terms of the responsibilities that officers had uh, all the way up, up the chain. So for me, it's an opportunity for the, the department to get back on track. I'm hopeful that the mayor and the city manager and the new police chief uh, sees it this way as well and that uh, they will institute uh, and hold officers accountable and there will be greater transparency uh, in the future. The report itself uh, is one that should be um, a, a, is a benchmark for what can go wrong uh, in, in, the, in a department when uh, proper uh, uh, monitoring is not occurring and the checks and balances fall apart. So